Halloween is almost upon us once again, so I decided to kick things off a little early this year. Many other channels have explained how to survive a zombie apocalypse, and living in a densely populated country like China, knowing how to handle yourself against an undead uprising could be incredibly useful. But what if I told you that China has their own special kind of zombies, and that the age-old method of removing the head or destroying the brain might not be as effective against their western counterparts? Fear not my fellow fleshbags, let's learn how to take down a juncture. Live it up, live it up, live it up. Before we delve into how to kill these reanimated bastards, let's first find out what they actually are. It's like Sun Tzu said, right? Know thy enemy and something, something, something. Hmm. So, the word Zhongshu, or as it can be translated into English as stiff body, is a term that has existed since the Han Dynasty, but originally just meant dead guy. Zombies existed in Chinese folklore for many hundreds of years, but didn't become what we know as a Zhongshu until around the 17th century. Myths behind the Zhongshu mainly come from the tradition of transporting the dead body back to their hometown, so that one's spirit can be at rest. In order to transport the dead back home, porters would carry the dead only at night time to slow down the rate of decomposition. It was also believed that looking at a dead body was bad luck, so the porters would bang a small gong to let people know they're passing by. Stories began to grow claiming that the porters were Taoist necromancers and that the dead were being brought back to life to make the journey more convenient. There are a few other stories about the creation of these zombies, but that's the basics. Now, let's make sure you know how to identify a juncture. Jiangshu are pretty easy to spot as they have bluish green skin and are almost always depicted as wearing traditional Qing dynasty clothing and are permanently afflicted with rigor mortis, meaning that like their name, they cannot bend their joints. So while a western zombie classically shambles around, the Jiangshu, with its arms out straight, hops after its confused victim. Also, while zombies eat brains and flesh, the Jiangshu consumes a person's life force, known as Qi. Now that we know their origins and how to identify, let's find out how to take these undead abominations down. The main methods for defeating a juncture range from strange to confusing, but are mostly rooted in ancient Chinese beliefs. First up, vinegar. For a juncture, this stuff is poison, though I imagine actually trying to get a juncture to drink it might not be so easy. If you don't mind sacrificing your beloved pet, the blood of a black dog is basically acid, and if you have string, ink, and chicken blood lying around, you have yourself an explosive wire. As juncture are afraid of sunlight, a crowing rooster will also scare them off. But the most powerful weapon of them all? Peaches. Well, the wood from a peach tree to be more specific. Peaches have always had mystical properties in Chinese legends, being able to grant immortality and dispel evil spirits. And against the juncture, you got yourself a perfect whacking stick. For our Buddhist friends who believe that violence is never the answer, holding your breath will make you temporarily invisible to a juncture. And finally, of course, is the sealing spell. This yellow piece of paper attached to the forehead of a juncture causes them to become completely passive, giving you enough time to escort them back to their ancestral grave so their soul can finally be at peace. And there you have it, everything you need to know about these bastards and how to survive a juncture apocalypse. Of course, a bullet to the head might also do the trick, but I'll be keeping this stick around just in case. So thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. If you like this video and would like to learn more weird stories from Chinese history, why not check out Shi Xianggu, China's prostitute turned pirate queen. Once again, thank you for watching, I'm Wukong, and goodbye.